I choose to do my final presentation on intertextuality uh, with a couple different uh, readings here. Um, I wanted to do one that had to deal with um, kind of the thought of what really is life and what's reality and everything. So what I did is I went along with The Twilight Zone by Rod Serling. So I chose to do the introductions from there. <clears throat> then I also did The Twilight Zone for a poem by Cecile Hickman. The last thing I did was I chose to do a reading from The Matrix, which is one of the more famous movies that we have, um, with a section of that. <clears throat> so with those three is what I did. I wanted to show that I think it's kind of a reference to things not being real. Uh, and the first one I just want to start out with, which is the poem. I'm going to do The Twilight Zone by Rod Serling, like I mentioned earlier. And how that starts out is uh, with the narrator giving some of the openings <clears throat> um, for that. And with that, I'm going to pull that up real quick. We have... <clears throat> some of the other uh, narrating openings from, which is going to be... Basically, the first one, the way it starts out is, there is a fifth dimension beyond in which known to man. It is a dimension as a vast space and as a timeless infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is a dimension of imagination. It is an area in which we call the twilight zone. You're traveling through another dimension, a dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind, a journey into the wondrous land of whose boundaries are that of imagination, that the signpost up ahead, the signpost up ahead, and your next stop, the twilight zone. And the second one I'm going to read is going to be the poem that I chose to do. Like I said, it's going to be by Cecile Hickman. <clears throat> Taking control of the vertical, horizontal, controlling sight and sound. Entering into this to ensure travel. Traveling beyond the normal to the bizarre within the boundaries of time and space. Ideas and theories are very possible. Ideas and theories are very possible living in the dead together, far apart but close, into the darkness of light we must travel. Going into the depths of the human mind, highlights of dreams, probabilities and fantasies. The mind is just one key to the senses. Zones of time, dimensions of sight and sound. Only anything may present itself for approval. Now relax and wait for your departure. Exit one soul, it is your only chance for mortality. Then the last one I just want to do, it's going to be, like I said, it's going to be a reading from The Matrix, which is a little weird, but it's a good movie with a good sense of difference and how the world is seen by everybody. So basically what I want to do, like I said, I just want to put all three of these together. I didn't really know where to go with the intertextuality, but I wanted to put um, kind of the same concept together, so kind of the bizarre world, what is going to be reality and what isn't and all that stuff. So... Like I said, the last one I have here is going to be The Matrix, and that's by the Wachowski Brothers. <clears throat> and it's going to be the one of the readings by Agent Smith. <clears throat> I'd like to share a revelation that I've had during my time here. It came to me when I tried to classify your species, and I realized that you're not actually mammals. Every mammal on this planet instinctively develops a natural equilibrium with the surrounding environment, but you humans do not. You move to an area and you multiply and multiply until every natural resource is consumed. And the only way you can survive is to spread to another area. There is another organism on this planet that follows the same pattern. Do you know what it is? A virus. Human beings are a disease 
a cancer of this planet. You're a plague and we are the cure. So those are my three intertextuality examples. Um, basically, like I said, I was going for was just how everyone thinks there's always more out there. The fifth dimension, the Wachowski, Wachowski brothers have the technology. Um, basically humans are, aren't everything. So that's my final project. Thank you.